second video uh, I'm making about performing phase picking on a set of seismograms which are stored in uh, a pick structure. Step one, I'm going to go ahead and load my desired pick structure. That pick structure has the following form. It has a P times uh, field, coral structure field, opt field, and file name field. In order to extract the seismograms, <coughs> which are a 21 channel by 90 column structure, meaning that there's 21 different recording channels for 90 different uh, individual waveforms, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, execute this operation. And then I'm then going to load a default op structure. And that op structure uh, has in particular a field called Chan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and view that structure. The Chan is here. This uh, field tells my picker, which I will use in the form of curl to see pick struck in a moment. But <clears throat> point is, is that opt.chan uh, states which particular channel I'm actually going to use to view uh, and perform picking on. nView equals 2. That command says I'm going to look at two seismograms at a time. And now, <clears throat> for the sake of illustration, I'm going to define uh, just a subset of that total number of seismograms. And I'm going to look at columns, let's say, 1 through 10 to start with. So H is now a new coral structure. It can only it contains 10 columns as opposed to 90. All right, now here is the actual phase picking <coughs> um, command. Uh, my arguments passed into coral to C pick structure. I'm going to change this to H. Are stating that I'm going to pick over the columns of, of H. I'm going to save my output. I'm going to include the op structure so that it can exploit that field chan, and I'm only going to view two seismograms at a time. I think uh, any of these particular arguments can go in any order. This order is fine. In particular, I'm going to hit enter, and for, for the sake of argument, I'm going to select to initially pick on this particular seismogram, so I'm going to hit yes when prompted to pick a seismogram. Uh, for my first pick, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at on this first channel of CC, so I'm going to hit P anyways, but now I'm going to hit INF to indicate that I have an infinite amount of uncertainty in that pick. And I'm going to hit enter when it asks me for the polarity, which means no polarity argument accepted. <clears throat> on the uh, second channel, Aaron, I'm going to place my cursor over the first point I want to zoom in on on that seismogram. I'm going to hit Z. I'm then going to place my cursor over the second part of the seismogram I want to pick on, I'm going to hit Z again. And then I'm going to uh, perform a pick here. Now, here you can see that there's a lot of <clears throat> high frequency noise, but at some point that noise starts to uh, attain a non-zero mean, which means that there's probably some energy propagating in. And that looks like a slight upwards first motion, although that could be an effect of the digitizer response, but I'm going to go ahead and select uh, P here anyways, because I think that's where the P initially comes in. I'm going to give that an uncertainty, however, of about uh, half of this particular interval because maybe it, the actual P comes in here or maybe it comes in here. I can't really tell. So I'm going to approximate that uncertainty as 0.01. Enter. I'm going to call that polarity up. Now to zoom out again, I'm going to hit O. Space bar to go on to the next seismogram. Z. Z. I'm going to do out. I want to zoom in differently. So now I hit O just then. I'm going to hit Z, Z again. <clears throat> uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and pick here. I could be wrong, but I, I believe that's when it looks like the first amount of energy comes in simply because the amplitudes tend to be higher right here. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to hit 0 0.01 again. U for up. O for out. zoom out space bar for next seismogram. I'm going to strike Z and Z. Uh, I'm going to hit P here. I'm going to go 0 0.01 again. Enter. Up. Enter. O. Space bar. Z. Z. P. 
0 0.01 enter up enter o spacebar z z <coughs> p 0 0.01 enter up enter out spacebar z z oh, this one's a little more difficult um I'm going to go ahead and call this P, but I'm going to give a slightly larger uncertainty. P, 0 0.02, enter, up, enter, out. Now I'm going to hit Q. Continue with C picks. I'm going to hit yes. Enter. Pick seismogram. For the sake of illustration, I'm going to hit no, even though that was probably a pickable seismogram. Enter. I'm going to hit no again. Enter. I'm going to hit no again. Enter. No. Enter. So I'm skipping several here. Now I'm going to hit Y. I'm going to go ahead and try to pick this guy. <clears throat> uh, as before with CC, I'm going to hit P and then infinite amount of uncertainty. Enter. Here I'm going to go uh, hold my cursor again at the first point I want to zoom in and then the second point Z, Z. Uh, I can see this at this point on Aaron that the uh, spectral characteristics of the seismogram of change that is we have comparatively low frequency noise here and then it turns into kind of jagged or high frequency noise energy here um, although it looks a little sharper here I'm gonna put P my pick P right there but there's a little bit of uncertainty I'm gonna go 0 0.01 enter up enter that might be wrong but I'm gonna go with it O to zoom out spacebar to move on <coughs> Z Z um, I'm going to call this first P, and this time I can't even tell what the first motion is. And I couldn't I honestly tell it unnecessarily some of those other ones, but I'm less certain here. I'm going to hit P, 0 0.02, enter. I'm a little more uncertain there. Enter for unknown uh, polarity. O for zoom out, space bar for move on to the next one. Z, Z. Oh gosh, this one's even harder. Um, <clears throat> this one's going to have quite a bit of uncertainty. I'm going to hit P right here. 0 0.1 this time. It's probably an exaggeration, but I'm going to use it. Enter. Uh, I think that was down. Enter. O, spacebar. Z, Z. Uh, that's probably the first arrival there. P. And I'm going to call that point 0.05 this time, more uncertain again. Up for first motion, enter. Out, spacebar. <clears throat> okay, this is a really uncertain one, which I guess is good for the sake of illustration. Let's go Z, Z. I'm going to call this P. I'm going to go with a point 0.05 uncertainty. I'm going to call that down. O, spacebar. Z, Z. P, 0 0.02, enter, up, enter, out. I didn't need to hit out, but I did anyways. I'm going to hit Q. That asks, that's asking it to quit because I'm done with that seismogram. And I could have hit spacebar again. And by hitting spacebar, if it didn't move on to the next uh, seismogram, that would have also told me, hey, that's my last seismogram. If I didn't remember, for example, that Taco was the last one. Then I would have hit quit, just like I did. So now it's going to ask me to continue with CPIC. So I'm going to hit yes again. And I'm going to hit no for the rest of these. N, enter. N, enter. N, enter. N, enter. Now it's asking me for a phase label because I'm done. I'm going to hit P, enter, and it just saved my phase picks. Now I'm going to go LS minus LTR, uh, phase pick, <coughs> star, mat. And this is the latest uh, pick which I actually saved. There's a previous one you can see that I also picked. And I'm going to load this guy now and see how big it is. Load, and now we have phase picks. And phase picks is a 21 by four structure. And if you recall, I did perform uh, four picks, I believe. Oh, you know what, I didn't. <laughs> I initially performed two, saved it, I'm, I apologize. And then I just did uh, two or three, there. maybe I did one. Well, the point is, is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to remember that this is a 21 by 4. 
and uh, I'm going to go ahead and perform picking again. This time I'm going to do it on ladder columns of S, and we're going to see if I skip over, let's say, all but two particular picks, if it saves a 21 by 6, or if it saves a 21 by some other size, that other size being uh, the complete seismogram, just to ensure that the uh, number of saved columns is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and CLC to clear everything, but we're going to remember that that was a 21 by 4 structure. I'm going to redefine H here. H is now going to be 11 through <coughs> uh, 13, and I'm only going to pick one more. Uh, actually, we'll make it a 14. I'm still only going to pick one more, so when I'm done, my phase picks coral structure, uh, which I will reload as I just previously did, should be a 21 by 5. It, if, if it is not a 21 by 5, and instead is a 21 <coughs> by 4 plus 3, being a 21 by 7, then I'll know that something was wrong. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to uh, pick the size. I'm going I'm to hit yes, enter. We're going to go Z, Z. Ooh, that's a nice size, my I'm going to hit P. And I maybe picked that a little bit late, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do a point oh one five, enter, down, enter. That might be wrong. That might again be an instrument response effect, but it's down. And I would uh, suggest always just picking the apparent first motion as opposed to um, compensating in, in in some respect. Okay, now we're going to go Z, Z. I didn't need to do that, so I'm going to hit out, and I'm doing that just to illustrate that you can. Uh, actively zoom in and out. I'm going to hit P here. We're going to go 0 0.015 again. And I'm going to hit down again. Now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go spacebar. I'm going to hit Z. Z. And again, notice my cursors move when I hit Z. Uh, I'm going to call this first P right here because I'm not sure what's going on with the noise. So I'm more uncertain. Zero point. Uh, so I'm going to hit P. 0 0.02 D enter O spacebar Z Z uh, there, there looks like that there's kind of this dip here so the uh, spectral characteristics of the noise change again but I actually have quite a bit of uncertainty in that assessment could start over here could actually not start till there that's about a 0 0.1 uncertainty so I'm going to go ahead and pick here P 0 0.1, enter, D, enter, O, spacebar, Z, Z, this one has a very sharp onset, P, 0 0.01, enter, U, enter, O, spacebar, there, a lot of uncertainty will be associated with Chris here, Z, Z, Gosh, I don't know on this one. That could just be noise. I can't tell. Well, that's again, I'm going to have about a 0 0.1 uncertainty in my pick time here. P, 0 0.1, enter. U, enter. O, spacebar. <coughs> Z, Z, out. So I hit O. Z, Z. P, 0 0.05, not quite certain about that pick, enter, D, enter. Now I'm going to pretend I don't know that I have another seismogram. O, spacebar. Nothing happened when I hit spacebar. That tells me I'm at the end of the seismograms. Now I'm going to hit Q. That tells me I'm, that's uh, indicating that I'm done picking. Continue with C picks. Yes, enter. No, enter. No, enter, no, enter, P, enter. Okay, let's see what the size of that uh, particular phase pick structure is now. <clears throat> I'm going to load this guy. Phase picks, and bam, now we see that it is a 21 by 5 structure. So in other words, those junk structures or those columns that I skipped were not saved within the pick structure. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, I would, uh, <clears throat> in particular, 
monitor for what keys I said I was hitting when I was performing those different operations. Uh, thank you.